NFTs, they're all over headlines. People are talking about them. Some people are making millions of dollars investing in them. What the hell are they? I'll tell you what they are. It's like the Dippin' Dots. Remember Dippin' Dots back in the day? It's the future and we're living in the future. Now I asked you guys if you knew what an NFT was, 90% of you said you didn't. 80% of you said that you wanted to learn, but now almost 90% of you said you'll never invest in NFT. So whether you wanna learn, you will invest, you won't invest, the bottom line is if you're living in 2021, you just have to know what it is. So let's talk about what it is. It's also fascinating that 90% of you guys said you won't buy a piece of digital art, but 50% of you in the survey said you'll buy a nice little cop. You will buy a physical piece of art that you can hang on the wall. So I have a feeling in the future, in the upcoming years, those numbers will change and they'll change drastically, all because of non-fungible tokens. So I'm gonna give you the technical definition. A non-fungible token is a unique digital file that exists on a blockchain and can be exchanged for cryptocurrency. That's the technical one. Let's break it down. Start with one word. Start with fungible. We know it's a non-fungible token. Start with fungible. Fungible just means mutually interchangeable. You buy me a drink, I buy you a drink. You give me 20 bucks, I give you 20 bucks back. Mutually interchangeable, okay? Now let's talk about something that's non-fungible. So we have a non-fungible token. Non-fungible, easiest example I can think of, Eiffel Tower. It's not interchangeable. The Mona Lisa, not interchangeable. That is a non-fungible physical asset. You can touch it, you can feel it, and there's only one. Now, let's talk about a non-fungible, non-physical asset. Some examples would be trademark, copyright, or digital art. Voila, a nice piece of digital art. You can't hang it. You can only get it if you have a Wi-Fi internet connection, you can see it. But yeah, voila, it's a non-fungible asset. Now, what's the token part? The token part is what makes it authentic. It's a certification ticket of authenticity on the blockchain. It gives you the ownership. You own a Wayne Gretzky 99 card, you probably have some type of certification or some type of form of authenticity to say this is the real specific card, here's the number of it, etc. Same thing, that's the token. That's the non-fungible token. A digital certificate of authenticity. Now, let's talk about the market, the NFT market. In 2019, the market cap was about 40 million bucks. 2020, it's about $350 million. 2021, it's blowing up. It's blowing up to a level they never saw coming. So, if you don't know what an NFT is, it's time to know. But the big question is, is it worth it? What is it? You own this digital art. I guess it's all based on almost everything. It's perceived value because it's not physical, but you take it to auction. You buy and sell it through auctions. And so it is sold through cryptocurrency. So people will buy on these auctions and then they own it. You could see the previous owners. And then you also can make royalties from it when it's sold again. Let me give you some examples and maybe this will help it click. Jack Dorsey, founder of CEO, had the first tweet. Now, that's a digital tweet. So what they do? It's digital art. They sold it as an NFT. Sold for over $2.9 million. Let me give you another example. The one and only, the stud himself, future Hall of Famer, Rob Gronkowski, was the first professional athlete in the U.S. to commission and sell his own series of NFT trading cards. Now, everyone thinks Rob just catches a leather ball in the top, pigskin leather ball in the touchdown and goes celebrates and parties. He's brilliant. AP student in high school, and now he's the first professional athlete in the United States to be all over the NFT game, and he's he sold his own series of NFT trading cards. From his four Super Bowl appearances, sold over 300 NFTs, and that got him in one weekend 1.8 million Ethereum. That's the cryptocurrency that was sold under, Ethereum. So, that being said, we talked about the NFL, Twitter, what an NFT is. Now, I'm going to share with you actually how you can buy an NFT, what the process is like, and what was the most expensive NFT ever sold. In the caption, you'll see the tag Restart. Go follow Restart. That's where the video will be. Restart is a company I started to bridge the gap between what we're taught in our curriculum, but what we have to know today as it relates to professional career navigation and financial management. And NFTs are a big player in the game and one you should at least know about. So go follow, check it out. If you have questions, put them in the comments.